All right, today is the day, and we were going to look at uh, fabricating all the tubes for the pressure side of the turbochargers going over to the intercooler. But I have come down with just a terrible raging headache, and as I was about to work on the turbo slider to the crossover tube, which is done, I decided to heck with it. And I'm just going to go ahead and edit this video. So we're just going to take a look at that crossover tube that goes from one side of the car to the other, taking the pressurized air over to the intercooler. Anyway, let's go take a look. Oh, this isn't part of the crossover tube. This is a bracket for the 3D printer and a hub, center section for the hub. And it looks like I've been working on a fuel cell as well. Okay, here we are. Now we're here at the crossover tube. We're going to be fabricating this thing out of 3 inch 6061 tubing. Picked up from the scrapyard. I think they have a thousand miles of this stuff because we're in a farming area. This tubing is comes out of a pivots and a irrigation systems, so they get it a lot in the scrapyards. But we're gonna clean it up and make us a crossover tube. So 22 and a half degree pie cuts to make us a 90 degree bends to get this thing to pass through our firewall. And those pie cuts make about a half an inch uh, extension into the bend. And so I know I need 33 and a half inches from hole to hole. So Subtract an inch from that and cut it off the main piece of tubing. Also put in 22 and a half degrees on each end. And once we got these things all cut up, as with all aluminum welding, the magic is in getting it perfectly clean. So we're going to take it into the sander, bevel it, take off all the burrs, put a little bit, like I said, a bevel on there so that we get a little bit of penetration on those welds. The aluminum is very particular in uh, the oxidation wants to float on the puddle of metal and if you get too much oxidation that puddle will tend to uh, push and form a gap or a hole in your weld. So as much oxidation crud you can clean off these things the better for the weld. Once they're all cleaned up we're going to take them over and tack the system together. So like I said just a couple of pie cuts going to make us uh, Three welds will create our 90 degrees. And we're going to have two 90 degrees on the same plane passing through the firewall or coming out of the firewall on one side and then passing through over to the intercool on the opposite side. And I didn't catch it. I didn't get a video of this, but I actually ended up cutting the ends and adding a third weld, kind of kicking up the piece of tubing at the very end there. I didn't take into account that the, I, well, I took into account that this firewall is going to be an inch thick, about an inch and a quarter with all the laminations done. But once I got it in place, I thought there's just not enough meat on that thing for me to put my rubber couplings on to hook this to the rest of the system. So add another little kick up on the end there to finish my bends coming through the firewall. This is tack weld all the things in place, make sure it is uh, good to go. I did not show in this video a trial fit with just the tack welds. You'll just see it now in a moment, finished welded, and we'll take it in and uh, give it a go. And once we got our welds all completed, take a look at this thing. We had good penetration, it is good. Now you can see the little kick ups on the end I put onto there. We've got holes going through our firewall. Put that thing in place. I'm just going to prop it up with a piece of cardboard tubing just to go to the other side and uh, check everything out. And it looks great. The only thing is, I think we're just a fractionally close to this one coil. Maybe we'll move that coil a little bit. Well, there is the turbo crossover tube finished. We will get back to those short tubes coming off of the turbocharger connecting to that tube very soon. And as you've seen, a couple of other things going on that we will have completed. And I can put those together in complete videos rather than chopping them up. And so you have to watch multiple videos just to see one project getting accomplished. Anyway, those will be coming up anyway, as you have seen. But thanks for stopping by today. Come back, see us again.